In this video, we are going to show you how you can use extra marks in Caldera Rip. Extra marks are cutting marks that are placed between the image repetitions or between nested images. This tutorial is divided into two sections, extra marks in the print module and extra marks in Compose. You can find extra marks under the cutting tab. In the print module, they are called automatic registration marks. Activate them and set the allocated space, which includes the non-printed margin and the mark itself, and the step. Step size is the minimal distance between the marks. Be careful. When print bleed is used with extra marks, you need to set enough of a margin for your cut marks. Otherwise, they will be located in the bleed area. By zooming in on the image, you will be able to see the real shape and size of the mark. Be careful when using extra marks with Nestomatic, as the algorithm uses the first image's settings to calculate the mark's placement. In Compose, you can set and place your extra marks. First, select your cutter in the list of compatibles and already installed cutters. To manually place extra marks, click on the New Mark button and place your mark on the composition. Then, Indicate the total size you want for your mark, the margin will adapt automatically. This size includes the printed part, the mark's actual size, and the margin that you allow, for better recognition by the cutter camera. Move your mark on the composition. Select and drag and drop it where you want, or use the center X and center Y fields from the cut mark settings. Use the delete button on your keyboard to delete the selected mark or click on the Delete All Marks button to delete all of the composition marks. To activate the automatic extra marks, click the button in Nesting. Be careful, if you already have extra marks on your composition, they will be deleted and replaced by the automatic ones. Marks are automatically placed with a minimal distance, equal to the steps set in the parameters. Enable Contour Nesting if you want to use the object's real shapes. Then, launch the nesting. Use the left button to nest with the current page or use the right button to adjust the media length to the images. Finally, when you're ready, create your document. If you need any help with our software, be sure to visit our Caldera Desk Knowledge Centre.